Save 10% on Control Freak products when using promo code SPEAR. This helps support me and the channel, and also helps us to grow even more. So thank you. Hey, what is going on guys? BSD Spear here back with another video, and in today's video, we're wrapping up our Lost Exotic series, showing you guys in the game how to get exotics from years 1 and 2 that cannot be obtained through 3 coins, exotic engrams, and Zura will never sell these weapons. Now, majority of these weapons are quest-based, so we're going to be showing you all the tips and tricks required to get your hands on these guns for yourselves. In our previous Lost Exotics video, we covered the Fabian strategy, uh, so if you want to watch that guide, be sure to click the link at the top of the screen now. However, in this video, we're covering the first curse. First curse is an exotic hand cannon released with the Taken King. So as always, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new here, and let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is you need to reach rank 5 for the gunsmith. Now, if you've already grinded out your Ace of Spades, your Talalak, and your Fabian strategy, then you know exactly how to do this. If not, I'm about to show you. So if you head over to the gunsmith at the tower, every week he has field test weapons that you can check out. There's five weapons available every week, and each weapon has a different uh, task for you to complete. Some of them are in Crucible, some of them are in PvE. Uh, each gun has a different task. So if you complete the task, then you gain reputation for the gunsmith. Now, it should be noted, in Year 3 of Destiny, uh, they have the Nightfall with the Radiant Light buff which increases your XP and faction reputation gains for the week. So I would strongly recommend doing the Nightfall before turning in these Gunsmith uh, field test weapons. It's going to help you out significantly. Now, once you grind out enough Gunsmith or field test weapons to reach rank 5, uh, you're going to get the first quest from Banshee called Imprecation. So while you're at the Gunsmith, go ahead and pick up a primary telemetry uh, as you're going to need one of those for the first quest step. Uh, to get things started. Alright, so for the first part of the implication quest, you're going to use your primary telemetry uh, and get 250 hand cannon kills. Now this can be done with any hand cannon in any activity as long as you have your primary telemetry active when getting these kills. Now once you reach your 250th kill, you're going to get your quest up to update to return back to Banshee at the tower and he's going to give you the next quest step. However, there is a catch. You're going to have to wait until Arms Day to move on with the quest. This is one of the most annoying things, and I hope they do not have this in Destiny 2, waiting around for a weekly reset. So, in case you do not know, Tuesday uh, every week is weekly reset, and Wednesday every week is Arms Day. So, if you're working on this quest, I strongly suggest doing it on a Monday or Tuesday, so when Arms Day comes around, you don't have to wait as long to continue. Once Arms Day does come around, he's going to give you a gun for the next quest step, and the gun is actually called Imprecation. Now, what you need to do, there's going to be three parts to this quest of basically how you have to level up the Imprecation. So the first part is you're going to have to infuse the weapon up. Uh, the next part is you're going to have to get seven kill sprees, and then you're also going to have to get Crucible Precision kill sprees as well. Alright, so first we need to uh, infuse the imprecation, so pick any weapon. I just chose this Distant Star, uh, as I don't really use this gun a whole lot. Uh, so just infuse up to uh, 300, I think is the max this gun will go. And then go ahead and finish the ascending once you have it uh, infused up. Now for the Crucible Precision Kill Spree, this part's a little bit misleading. Uh, really, all you need to do is get 7 Precision Kills in one Crucible match. Now this is probably going to take uh, the longest of this quest. Uh, some people are not good with hand cannons for one reason or another. Uh, so what I would suggest, uh, you could even have your guys, uh, teammates, team shot them and weaken them, and then you finish them off with a precision kill. So seven headshots in one match, you'll get that part completed. For the last part, is you need to get a seven kill spree. Now this doesn't have to be headshots, uh, this has to be in PvE though. And once you get your seven kill spree, seven kills back to back, you'll get the quest up to update to return back to Banshee once again. Alright, so once you complete that part of the quest step, that is the last step required to get your hands on the gun. However, you are going to have to wait until the next arms day. So by default, you're going to have to wait two separate arms days, so two weeks, 
uh, to get the first curse. So it really sucks, Bungie. Please do not torture us like this in Destiny 2. Uh, but that's all you have to do to get the first curse. And I really like using this gun in Crucible. It hits like a truck and a lot of fun to use. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically that is actually the last exotic weapon that I needed to complete uh, that part of my... Uh, bucket list for Destiny 1. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, if it helped you out at all, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all next time. I'm BSD Spear and I'm out. Right, are out. What? <laughs>